All right, here's a review I said I had coming for you of uh, the Man X2. Um, I got a couple versions. Here's a uh, Man X2 in S30V. Uh, very nice knife. Uh, it's my first knife in S30V. Some of you may know from watching other videos of mine. Um, I really wanted some S30V and finally got it. Um, it opens super smooth. Um, still not got the whole swing it close thing down yet with this one because of the translucent blue. I don't know. It seems to close a little smoother. This one bounces back a lot. Um, but it's it's kind of heavy, um, I believe it's like five, five ounces, um, yeah, it doesn't have milled liners, that's, probably accounts for most of the weight, um, it's really good though, um, the S30V seems to retain its edge really well um, but not a fine edge it seems to get pretty toothy uh, in my experience as soon as you start using it for cardboard or whatnot um, it gets it gets kind of a toothy edge to it whereas like oh that's a Nura um, the translucent blue here you can see he's getting some use. Um, I actually got it in a trade, so the scratches on it aren't from me. But um, it's a great knife. Um, I got this from Knife Lover 09, I believe, off YouTube. Um, traded like five knives for it, um, all lower end knives. This is my go to EDC knife since I've had it. I love it. It's light, uh, 2.85 ounces, I believe. Um, at least that's what the paperwork in the box says. I haven't weighed it. 81 grams. Um, it's a nice little knife. Uh, as far as the CTS BD1, it seems to hold its edge pretty good. Um, I haven't had to sharpen it since I got it, and I'm pretty sure you used a sharp maker on it. I have a sharp maker. I haven't touched it up yet, so I don't know how it sharpens, but it does retain the edge pretty good. I've used it to cut open boxes, um, whatnot, packages and such. Good little knife. I love the full flat grind. That's why it gets a lot more pocket time than this one. Plus it's a lot lighter. It's almost half the weight. Um, and it's totally noticeable. It opens up just as smooth. I've gotten the closing on this down. Oh, I like it a lot better. Um, no, I gotta say this is smoother to open. It's easier to open. Um, Cause that was a bad one, but this takes a little less resistance than that. But the blade's heavier. I mean, it's it's got the hollow grind versus the full flat ground. Which makes it heavier. That's why it bounces back too, because I'm not as used to shutting it. Both great knives, uh, especially for the money. I mean, you can't beat it. If you're looking to pick up a knife for the S30V, I mean, comparable options there aren't any. Um, the Native, which is pin construction, which I can't really knock pin construction because this is pin construction and there is no play in this whatsoever zero and I've used it and I'm sure knife lovers used it because of the scratches um, and I mean there's no play in this knife it's it's great um, it might actually make me pick up a native just to check it out because it's right around the same price range but I mean for 70 bucks this thing is sweet um, I love it uh, it's a great EDC knife. It's light, opens fast, um, 
cuts well, as do all my spider codes. They all cut cut well. Um, they're fun to play with. I mean, I had the zip tie mod on this for a little bit, but you don't need it. I mean, it opens crazy fast. Regardless, you can swing it open. Um, it just works out. There's not really a lot more I could say. I mean, the G10 on this is like way better than, say, uh, Tenacious G10. We got Tenacious chilling somewhere. I don't even know where it is at this point in time. But the Tenacious G10 is not grippy at all to me. I mean, it's slick, but this has some grip to it. Not as much as this does. Um, that FRN, the bidirectional texturing, is ridiculously grippy. I mean, you push and it pushes back. You're not sliding around on this. It's, it's a great little knife. Um, especially for the money. I love the wire pocket clip versus the regular hourglass shape. Um, not saying anything bad about that. I, I mean, I love Spyroclose pocket clips. They put them all the way to the edge, which a lot of knife companies don't. Um, they'll be hanging out down here for some reason. When it's kind of annoying. But it, they both carry pretty deep in the pocket. I mean, that's what's showing. And that doesn't even really show. It kind of tucks if you're wearing jeans, which I do, or work pants. Um, really great knives, like really great knives. I'd highly recommend either of these. Um, again, this is a lot heavier, but my friends seem to like it better because of all the, you can really feel the jumping across the spine and the bottom. Um, and with this, we're being FRN, that's not functional, um, none of it. I mean, it has the same, same texturing, but it's not, it's not near as, um, functional as the jumping on this version, on the G10 version, um, the heavy version, I guess. Um, does this retain its edge as well as the S30B? No. Um, I gotta say that. Because even though this gets toothy, it'll still pull hair off after I ran it through a crap load of cardboard. And this probably wouldn't. But like I said, I haven't used it enough to to get it to a dull point. Um, quick size comparison. And people say that this knife is like huge than Dura 4. Um, yeah, it's not much bigger. Like, cutting edge, that's, that's not a whole lot of difference. And, you know, this is a much wider blade. Both of them, much wider. Um, than, than the Endura. Not knocking the Endura, I love the Endura. Um, I just got the Endura and I've never owned one. But as far as lockbacks go, this has the smoothest deployment I've ever seen with a lockback. Um, but yeah, I mean, most people do have the Endura. If you, you know, it's it's not much bigger. Um, everybody made this sound so huge, but it's really not. All right, well, that's about all I got for you. Thank you for looking and. Um, You'll see me soon with a review for the Endura once I get a little bit more use out of it. Um, even though there's thousands of reviews for the Endura, but whatever. I'll probably throw my own out there. Um, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your takes are on these knives, and... Uh, I'll see you later.